Hey, what's up, guys? Austin Secretary One here, and today I'm going to be talking about new widgets for Android 1.5. Did you not already know? Android 1.5 supports third party widgets, which means you can put widgets on your home screen without downloading a home, open home, or any other home alternatives, and using space that doesn't need to be used. Alright, so let me show you the new widgets here. I will have uh, some kind of bar or something that shows you uh, the actual names of the widgets and you can get all these widgets in the Android market and they are all free alright so let's start with this clock up here this retro clock shows you the time and if you click on it it goes right to the alarm clock so you can set your alarm clock so it's, it's got a multi-purpose there slide over here and you get these widgets right there you can see a weather one, a battery monitor, and a sticky note Let's go to the sticky note first. If you hit that, you see three options display, GPS, and wireless. So let's say I want to hit GPS. It goes, sends me right to the GPS settings. I can enable GS, GPS satellites or I can just keep it off. Go back and I can choose whatever else I want. Let's go to sticky note. And it first it said project and now it says on Japan. If I hold this down, I can edit it project on Japan I can select the color of the sticky note and I can add a calendar event then after I pick my color it sends me to this let's move it up to four, 14th hit OK it sends me to uh, event details after I check it I can save it calendar settings saved alright so that's sticky note sticky note is a great application and then my favorite application is the weather one. You can see it's this little icon right here. It shows me the highs is 79 and the low is 63. And I can obviously tell chance of thunderstorms. But let's say that's just too uh, too small of a widget. If I hold this down, go to widgets. That was forecast tiny, so let's just go to forecast right here. And uh, I can choose my current location or I can search it then I can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit I can verify on the map or I can just save so there we go floating and there we go shows, my, shows me my location chance of thunderstorms 79 is the high and 63 is the low if I tap on it I shows me the forecast and it did this on the tiny one too <coughs> so there we go that's forecast, sticky note, and uh, the battery monitor. Before I get off of this uh, page right here, there's two other ones that did not go over. The These two are actually defaults with Android 1.5, so you don't have to download them off the Android market. There are the music one, which you can play and pause. You hit the middle of it, it sends you to the music application. Or if I hit right here, it'll skip the song. Now that was the music one. Here's the calendar. Calendar shows you upcoming events and the date. It shows you the date right here and the upcoming event. So it says Geography Project due May 14th and it's the 9th. Alright, so let's start over here. And now RSS feeds, which was probably one of the most asked for widgets to come for Android 1.5. Um, the guy, one guy created all these uh, RSS feeds. He also created BBC. He is not in business or work for any of these companies he just made these widgets because he just probably likes them just like the rest of us so he made Engadget, Gizmodo, Needorama, Yahoo and BBC don't, I didn't download BBC because I don't live in the UK alright so basically let's say I want to know more about Gizmodo if I tap it I actually have to tap the words all the RSS feeds come up, and if I find one I like, I'll just pick this one. Tap it, and it actually sends you to the website and uh, talks about that feed. So RSS feeds are very nice, and so that's pretty much it, guys, for uh, widgets. I'm making new widgets every day, but those are just some of my favorites. You. 
Before I go, you can catch me on Twitter. My username is AustinTech81. I also have a Ustream, which is AT81, and a Blog TV, which is AT81. I know I got two uh, live streams there. I'm testing them both out to see which one I like more. Before I go, though, once I hit 100 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway on one of these cases. I got a skull case right here by uh, Lexmo. Right here, here's the back plate of it. Skulls, kind of nice. And I got this other one, which is a white case. Nice grill right there. And a black piece right here, so it slides in. So I will be having a giveaway later on once I get to 100 subscribers. So subscribe, and I will have more uh, giveaways in the future, guys. And I do have reviews on these cases, uh, which will be coming up to YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Austin Tech 81.